All right, welcome back, guys. Thanks for tuning back Woo-hoo. in with us. That's <laughs> 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 it. How'd you do? That's it. I'm out. I, had, I'm out. Well, I, had I, I was going to go squish. <laughs> I know you were. But we were talking about angels and demons and, and kind of how, you know, we could have perceived ghosts. ghosts. Yeah. The, qu- the question us. we were trying to figure, discuss before is our ghosts, because the whole thing has been about theories on what a ghost actually yeah. is. Yeah. And our ghosts just angels or demons trying to trick us into thinking that they are in fact just dead people. True. Yeah. Right? That's but, that's that's another theory on what a ghost might actually be. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. what are your thoughts on that with your experience well, my, in your ex- in your experience of investigating? I, I mean really you can't really say in your experience of investigating because you never ran really into it in that aspect. So my theory is I'm gonna spin it this way. Well first um, of all have you ever run across what you thought might have been a demon? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, how was that a different experience? Once you thought it might have been a because ghost? I mean, just as we're investigating with the religious <laughs> objects and everything like that, they reacted differently. So it made us think more towards the demonic side because it was triggering those specific objects. Now, in an investigation, so you think you've run across a demon? You think you've run across a ghost? Yes. Have you ever run across an angel? No. No. <laughs> See, there, there it is. Like. Or, like, your, your perception is, what if you, they... You know who doesn't call people? Like, people don't call about angels. Yeah, they have. It's strange, right? Like, <laughs> it's it's, it's, it's like, done. hey, good things are happening to me. Let's not jinx it. Yeah. Well, it's, it seems weird, right? Like, if someone had a ghost or a demon in their house, they would say, you know, like, I would like to figure out what this is in my house right now, you know? Yeah. But if you had what you thought might be an angel in the house, you wouldn't get someone You're to like, figure like, that nope, out. You're like, nope, not touching it. Right? Not touching it. We're going to leave that there. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good. That's a good I, thing. I'm that blessed. seems strange that's to me. Is. But a way of somebody could say. Because you're someone's that. in your house. You know yeah. I mean? like, Some, someone's something still there. Something is someone's in your there. I mean, something or someone. Because if it's someone, you're like you probably. Well, regardless, I mean, it's like, like yeah. it's kind of like as a kid. Okay, having an angel in your house and doing nothing about it is kind of like how kids just kind of forget that Santa comes into your house and this is a guy breaking into your home. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Touche. They're fine, they're fine with it. He's very benevolent. Yeah, you know? he gives me But stuff. as an adult, yeah, if, you, if you knew a guy broke into your house every, you know, every Christmas, you'd be freaking out. Yeah. Unless he was a great analogy. Awesome stuff. What I'm saying is... Which that, Santa is. Just because an angel is the benevolent version of some kind of entity, I don't know if... I would want I, I would want to know why or if it was in my house. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah but that's, that's true because you, it, it's not like it's gonna be there and be like, oh, I'm an angel. I am <laughs> I'm, I'm here to give you good stuff. Right. That's how it talks. And okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But like, but also like in the aspect of the ghost tricking you to think it's an angel, could it be like this? Bear with me on this this analogy this way. Say it's a guardian angel, but you recently had a family member pass away. But they're there to reassure you, or they're there to make you feel more comfortable. Could somebody perceive that as a guardian angel? I, I could see that. Because they're based, there to protect you from the loss of yeah. that you experienced. Based purely on religious background and thoughts on they don't believe in ghosts, they believe in demons and angels, and if it's there to, you know, uh, console them or, you know, help guide them and help them in the grieving process, then it's actually maybe their loved one that passed but they perceive it as a angel. Because so perception their, is really the big thing. Well, in, in their religion, they would believe that ghosts don't exist, it's only demons and angels. Right, and there are a lot of, I, I talked to some Christ, Christians in particular who have that same mm-hmm. perspective. Because yeah. uh, I think a lot of Christians, I mean, there's obviously Christians that think that you know ghosts do exist. Yeah. But there's also several that think they are just angels or demons, and they're most likely demons. Yeah that are trying to trick people into thinking that they are just these ghost things. My question is, for people that believe that, is, okay, to what end, what is the demon trying to accomplish here? <laughs> like, if, if a demon is trying to parade around as a ghost, what is he going to get at? What's the end game? That? What's the end game of that? The right? end game is your soul. But... How? <laughs> <laughs> we don't have souls. Well, yeah, no, but, well, well let's, their, let's pretend we do. Thoughts, let's say we they, have a soul. They, okay. they, they think that. Yeah, let's pretend we have a soul or so, think they'll assume we do. So so basically... What's, goes, what's the goal of it? If a demon is going to pretend to be a ghost, how is that going to be any better at, let's say, getting your soul than just being a demon? <laughs> you know? that's, that's, that's true, but it would be something it seems like more... Demons, like, you, if you, like we read, demons seem way more powerful. They do, yeah. They seem way more powerful. Well, um, I mean, well, let's be honest. What's an angel have to do to be powerful? I mean, it 
It doesn't have to show you anything. You feel good. You feel oh, good. You're like, mm, I feel great. That's all I need. Okay. You know, a demon just wrecks stuff and puts fear in you. Yeah. I mean, an angel doesn't have to do. Anything. So you're saying when you're more happy, you feel more comfortable. But when you get people, you get fear, you want to associate with that something evil that's trying to attack you. Yeah. In that, in that essence. In, in sorts, like. But if if a demon's posing as a ghost. It could be posing as something that's, you know, familiar to you. Say, mm -hmm. say you did lose a family member in an ideal situation. You lost it. Not, that's really not an ideal situation. But you lose a family member, but that demon knows mm -hmm. that you lost this family member, so it's going to come at you that way. All right. So it's going to pose as that family member to get close to you. But in the end, it's just to torment you, to, la to latch onto you, okay. to possess you, to take your soul. So that's the end game, maybe. A demon trying to pretend to be so someone. So be a trickster. It, it takes your soul right. and then... It takes go. your soul just rips it right out of you. Just, ah, yeah, it runs away. Like, from your spleen or whatever it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. From your spleen. <laughs> yeah. you that's where I keep mine. That's right. where it's been the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> but but it, it, it went, once it takes your soul, you're bound to hell. Okay, so it, I, I can. I guess but I, in capturing the souls, it could make them work. I guess I can get behind the idea that if stronger, if there was a demon and if there was a soul and yeah, all I mean, that, I, if the there soul was theory, what my my real question is, what would be the end game of a demon pretending to be an or pretending to be a ghost? And I guess that that, yeah, that what that you said be, makes yeah. perfect sense to come on to someone in a way that is more comforting yes. than being in a demonic form, yeah, which would be I mean, pretty terrifying. Well, I mean, I it's tricking you. I mean, it, it'll do or anything. Or it could be a puppy. Tricky. Yeah. Well, uh, <laughs> let's be honest. Why would you do that? We've family. talked about this. Yeah, you like, hear um, stories about children, you know, uh, having their uh, what, what, imaginary friend that they play with, and they're awesome, and they're the best, and then all of a sudden your imaginary friend says, hey, kill your parents. You know, and yeah, this, this is like this. months after being their mm -hmm. friend. And saying like, hey, you know, your parents are awful people. Uh, be with me. Uh, jump out of this window. I, I mean, I have heard stories of parents saying, my child, try. I mean, tries to kill me. For well, one we had one case where a parent said, my child tried to use the window blind, uh, a window blind string, to hang himself because this my its imaginary friend told him to to be with them. So in that aspect, that could be a, a demonic entity yes. or something taking posing with that child, child. Soul, uh, taking the child's soul, mm -hmm. innocent soul, yeah. or or a skeptical person would just say the kid's just got mental, mental issues. issues. Right. Yeah. But you totally. can you could say that, but you could back that up by going to the but, doctor. But you know, the, the kid's like four. Right. How does he understand? How does he you know, know what's good and bad? At that I, mean, well, I, mean, I mean, you know what good and bad is, but how do you really understand death? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, what does he really understand about putting this around him? And then yeah. hanging, he doesn't. He just knows if I do this, I'm gonna go hang out with my friend. Well, let's change the topic for a second. Yeah, that's okay. awful. So, <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, no, we're not gonna talk about suicide. That's great. Well, I mean, it, it was a legit yeah. case that, 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 that actually we, happened. Um, and we, I mean, I, I, I don't think we found anything. We were there multiple times, and nothing ever happened. No. And but still, it's still doing well. Just throw it out yeah. there. It, it was just one of those things that we were posed the question. Yeah, we had to try to answer it. Mm -hmm. you know, you're you're putting in a horrible, tough situation. So, I guess we're kind of getting close to the end of time, right? Yeah. So uh, let's how about this? Let's just pose the ultimate question. What do you think happens when you die? Ah, <laughs> the question. Now there are some people. That, what, what, did, uh, what do you think? Well, let's what, do okay. it. What do you okay. think, James? What, why does it always got to be me first? I'll go next. Yeah, well, yeah, after I get <laughs> you know, the face of the group, man. You know, that's true. So, question, in but my honest opinion, so I believe that there's energies around. There's energies on Earth, whether it be a spirit, whether it be you know a ghost, a demon, an angel, or that has to travel somewhere. Whether it be a different plane, whether it be limbo, whether it be you're stuck here on Earth, your I wouldn't call it soul, but your 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 energy or or, or your soul. Has to go, your <coughs> essence has to go somewhere. It just can't live there anymore because your natural physical body is dead. So it can't physically live in you anymore. It has to be, you know, gone on to wherever. <coughs> Do I believe, like, that it's heaven, that it's hell? No. Because that's, I just, I can't grasp, like, I believe in God and all that, but I just can't grasp there's a, there's somebody that decides where your energy, where your spirit's going to go. But, that's, but that's you, you, you're, you're behind the idea of there being a soul or something. Yes, yes. I, and, and what makes you feel that that's probably... And, and in all honesty, it's just how I was raised. And then my beliefs of when I was younger, being you know, raised as a Christian Methodist, was my, I went to a Methodist church, mm -hmm. and the ideology that was instilled into us that 
that's what happened. So I can't really, that really. Um, but is that a good was, reason to hold on to that? Yeah, I believe so. It just because I was raised that way, I got, I've got to hold on yeah, to that. Yeah, no, yeah, I, I know where you're going with that. I mean, I'm, I'm not criticizing. I'm just saying. No, 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 no. But that's we just all, why I all want to have some kind of belief. Yeah, and so do we? You want to hold on to that belief because that's how you were raised? No, or? because then you, you talk to other people like us talking now, and you get a different side of things that it could be something completely different. That's why I'm open minded. Yeah. About what actually happened, but in, in the beginning when I started this, that's what I believe. Mm. Would I say that now? I mean, I still believe that you have you, your your soul, or you you know, I, you can't really put a name on it because it's yeah. not a such it, it's whatever it is, it's whatever it is are. that you are when you or die. whatever we've been catching in our yeah, or whatever it has to go somewhere. <clears throat> it, I mean, it has to go to another plane. It has to go. It just or it might just stick around here. We don't know. It's not a proven theory. To me, what do you think? Uh, I'm 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 honestly okay with me just going over here and being. <laughs> Decomposing, going back. Is that what you believe happens, though? Yeah. Well, then well, why does, do you just go? Then where do, where, where, do, I, where do you go? <laughs> like, I'm trying. There's things that I've caught that I can't explain yeah. with that same logic. So I'm trying to find the scientific route um, because everyone has religion covered. Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> you know, I mean, that's just be honest. Not that people it, talk. Not that it. it's wrong. I don't know. I have. I'm okay with it being right, but I want to find out if it is. Right. You know, and I want to take that so, route. Yeah. But of, again, of that being, doesn't clarify to us what do you think happens when you die? I decompose. <laughs> I decompose. I decompose. That's, that's, that's my fact. <laughs> that's facts. Okay, you know that for a fact. Yes. But beyond that point. You can't tell me there's a soul. No one can prove there's a soul. So right. but, but with what I have, I just decompose. So then, and I get and I'm fertilized fertilization mm -hmm. for the next right. plant to grow. So then from that point on how can you even have any basis for being a paranormal investigator? Because I've caught things. I've had mm -hmm. things happen to me. That Stuff make, we can't explain. But they, I can't say So you've had that. evidence that contradicts what you believe. Yes. yes. So then how can you continue to believe that... Because I haven't found facts. Mm -hmm. Like, I haven't found it to yeah. be fact. And that's what I want to prove. Mm -hmm. And so then I can bring this to the front and not be... Mm -hmm. It won't be credible, because <laughs> we can go back to that. But <laughs> to me... I don't, I mean, then I find out for myself. That, uh, the base level of everything, that's what I find out for me. Mm -hmm. um, and then I evolve my, my thoughts behind it. And I'm 